Here's an example of a hazard function and cumulative hazard functions, but to get there I'm going to work through the basics first. Let's take the uniform distribution from 0 to 1 as our PDF. If you integrate that, you get the CDF, the cumulative. This is the probability that the event has happened. The survival function might be new to you. This is 1 minus the CDF. Simple enough change. That is the probability that the event has not happened yet. If you're waiting for something to fail, this is the probability it hasn't failed yet. So this is a probability per time. This is probability and this is probability. The hazard function, lambda of t, is defined to be the density divided by the survival function. What does that mean? It's the instantaneous probability per time of the event happening, given that it has not yet happened. So if I'm just saying the probability that it shows up in the first second, the second second, the 18th second, the 49th second, that's going to be a uniform PDF. But if you take into account that the bus has not shown up yet, it is getting more and more likely that the bus will arrive soon because I said it's gonna show up sometime in the next minute. 40 seconds have gone by, we're into the last 20 seconds. The probability per unit time is actually climbing. And so we end up with this curve, which is not normalized to 1, and in fact has a vertical asymptote at 1. The cumulative hazard function, like it sounds, is the integral of the hazard function. The common relationships between these are lambda is density over survival. It is also negative derivative of the log of the survival. Cumulative hazard is negative log of survival. And the survival is e to the negative cumulative hazard. 